Hey guys, what's up? So right now we're actually at an annual like air show event. It's called Sudden Fun. There's like a bunch of planes, jets, a bunch of cool stuff, which I'm going to be showing you later. Matter of fact, one second. Like I was saying, there's like a bunch of little creeks like this, right? Like one here, one on the opposite side right there, and they're just all over the place. So we're going to be fishing them with little like worms, like real worms, maybe some little rooster tails. We have a bunch of different things I'll show you later. So hopefully we do get some little maybe bass, some bluegill. I know there are red breast sunfish here and like some gar because I've seen them before I actually fished here last year. So hopefully we do get on some fish and yeah, so let's enjoy and see what we get. So we're just going to be using some regular little worms and then we have a tiny, tiny little, little hook right there. I'm not sure what size this is. We got like five inches, a little split shot weight for it to like cast farther, further. And also we're using around maybe six to four or eight pound test. I'm not sure. It's pretty thin. So hopefully we don't get broke off if we catch a bigger fish. We cut the worm in half for it to not be so big because I know the fish aren't in here aren't like huge or anything. Hopefully we do get on some fish and let's see how it is. Guys, first fish, I think we still have him. Yeah, we still have him. Look how pretty this guy is. Hooks pop right out because they have the long thingy right here. But as you can tell, this is a beautiful, oh no, oh my God, my rod almost fell. Right here, this is a beautiful fish. All right, let's get release him. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to get in here, but if I was like in the middle of like a, fr oh, we have a bite guys. Oh my God, we have fish. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just talking to you guys and we got a fish. That was not planned at all. All right guys, we got a little bluegill. Let's take a good look at this guy. Beautiful little bluegill in the sunfish family. Let's get a release of him. Ooh, I hit him on the rocks. Oh, that was not good. I had no idea there were rocks right there. Oh, that's awkward. Also, we did change right here the depth. We made this like a little bit shorter, so now it's pretty much a foot in total, not a foot and a half. Hopefully, we get a bunch of different species. That's kind of the main goal for today. We're gonna get as much species and also the biggest fish we can get out of here. All right, guys. So, first spot was kind of good. We only caught two fish, two little bluegills. So we're gonna switch up right now because there's like a bunch of different little creeks around this place. We're on our journey right now to find another cool one of these little creeks. I remember there's actually one over here in this little RV camping site, but I'm not sure if there's any people, so let's go check it out. All right guys, it's right through here, but I think we'll be able to make it. So you see right here, there's this cool little um, bridge thingy, and there's like a bunch of water down there. So we're gonna go ahead, pause our bike, and put it down here for now, hopefully. We get on some more fish. Okay. There's not much deep water on the actual side of the bridge, but if we move, oh, that was not good. I almost died. If we move over here a little bit, there's like a bunch of open water. There's gonna cast right here over all this like brush stuff. And hopefully we get on one. I love creek fishing. It's like so like survival and stuff. It's not, oh, oh no. It's not like our normal fishing down in South Florida, but let's see if we get a little fish. I got snagged. Are you? Damn it. Oh, oh my God. Well, we got it out at least, but we might have got it snagged on another tree. No, we're good, guys. All right. That was a close one. That was almost the end of our, our trip. We only have one more hook after this one. So if we lose both, well, that's it. Oh my God, guys. Holy crap, I just fell through a sinkhole. That is so stupid. You see one of these holes right here? Oh, that was, I sound like an idiot right now. One of these little holes, there was one right there. I didn't even see my whole entire freaking leg went in it. <laughs> Crossing over right here. Hopefully we don't fall in one of those little holes. Imagine if we like tripped and we fell all the way down there. That would suck, but that would be pretty funny. But that would still suck a lot for me. All right, three, two, one. I'm a loser. Did I suck? All right, guys. 
as we cast it right here in this little pocket where the water goes like this and it kind of like pools up there and then it keeps going that way so maybe there's some fish hiding in that little creek oh guys we have a fish we have a tiny fish what is this oh i think we might have a creek oh no way guys look this is the coolest thing i ever caught this is a baby catfish dude i would so put this in a tank no way okay so i came fishing here a while ago like a year ago like i said earlier and i caught i think around five or six species i'm not really gonna tell you what they are so we catch them in this video but this right here was not one of the fish we caught last year i haven't even seen this guy i didn't even know there was little catfish in here here i'll get a better look at this guy once i take the hook out but this is insane look how pretty this little catfish is i'm not sure if this is a i think it's a channel catfish because it has little spots but it might be a I don't know what it is actually just let me know if you know what this is all right guys here's one last look at this little catfish we're gonna get a release of him but i'm telling you this guy is like four to five inches this would be so cool in a little fish tank i wish i could take this guy home but we're just gonna toss him all the way over there and he's perfectly good oh guys we got what is this we got oh my god we got another species oh i'm pretty sure this right here is a type of cichlid and i'm pretty sure it's called a black acara i'm not sure I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I want to try to hold it with one hand, but it's probably going to get out of my hand. But you can tell a little spot right there, a little spot on the tail, a little green, mainly brown. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a black acara. That's three species for the day so far, and we have many more to go. I'll get another cast in there. Guys, my legs are itching like crazy. Oh, guys, we have a fish. What is this? Another catfish, I think. Oh, we got a little bass. No way, guys. We got a little bass. Look how pretty this bass is, guys. Look at his mouth right there. This guy has to be at least maybe like four inches. But these are beautiful like aquarium fish. I would have like all these fish in my fish tank. But let's get a release of them. Peace. Oh, wait, that's another fish, guys. Uh, three, two, one, set. Oh, oh. Well, this is something else. Got, oh, I, oh, red breast. Let's go, guys. Red breast sunfish biggest fish of the day so far i knew this fish was in here and i was targeting it oh ow. i was targeting him here let me just like but this guy has blue greens orange he has little stripes right here on his face right here this is like literally oh uh, oh no this right here guys is a beautiful little fish look at him I kind of want to do a catch and cook on one of these guys because we don't have these down in South Florida, like in my part of Florida, Coral Springs. So I might, not now, but maybe later tomorrow or today, I'll catch one of these guys, maybe two or and eat them and show you guys how they taste. But beautiful little fish, and let's get a release of him. Another. Whoa, guys, we have another species right here, actually, I'm pretty sure. I thought that was a black acara cichlid like we caught earlier, but it's actually another type of sunfish. So right here, I don't know what kind of sunfish this is. I know it's not a blue goat. So if you know the name of this little sunfish right here, let me know down in the comments below. The biggest blue goat so far of the day of the trip. Here we go. Beautiful fish. All right, guys, we got another one of those little weird fish that I don't know what they're called. And since this guy's clean, I'm going to show you him real quick. Hopefully he doesn't fall. I'm going to just pause it right there if you can. And if you can let me know what the name of the sunfish is again that'll be really helpful thank you another oh no oh no that sucks okay guys so as you saw we just lost that little fish he fell down there as you can tell so i'm gonna go down here grab him i hope there's not like oh, i don't know i just hope i don't die i don't even know where to put my hands Here is a little black acara. Let's put him back. Safe. And now we have to get back up here somehow. So far, this little creek spot right here is like OP. It was like really, really cool. We got like a bunch of fish, but right now we're gonna keep going through this awesome little trail and get to another part of the creek and maybe get on some different fish, bigger fish, and just exploring. So let's get on the bike and see. What cool stuff comes along this awesome adventure? Like, this is beware something. Who knows?
Oh my god, look at this spot. We're kind of right next to this little road, so there's gonna be a little bit of traffic noise and stuff. But we could go down there to a little beachy area. There's all this open water. We have a freaking badass looking little waterfall right there. All right, we're down here, guys. This is beautiful. This is like a train thing. I don't know if you can tell, but like there's a bunch of fish. So I'm gonna cast a little bit further out there to see if I could get maybe a different kind of fish. Yeah, this fish right here has like problems. Like look how skinny he is. It's like paper thin. I think they're called, I forgot what they're called when they're like this. But this guy's like extremely, like you can feel his bone everywhere, guys. Look at that. That's not healthy for a little fish. See you guy. Look right here, look. Look at that, look at that. Woo! That's a big one too. No, I caught a bass, a little bass, yeah. I caught a little catfish too. And a bunch of different kind of bluegill and stuff. That's awesome. Guys, look, this is a beautiful spotted um, sunfish, I think. We have them down there in the Everglades. Beautiful fish. There's like a billion fish right here. Like, just look. Look at that. And another one. Oh guys, we have a bass. Oh, we have a bass and it's not a small one either. Oh my God, these fish could fight guys. Woo. That is a pretty, pretty big bass for this spot. Yeah, right? That's a pretty big bass for this spot, man. Well, that's a huge bass. Look at him. Biggest fish of the day so far pretty big yeah. all right guys awesome all the people are like enjoying me cheering me on this is insane thank you Okay guys, we're like on 7 or 6%. We actually got snagged over there by the tree, so we got off, we got caught off, but I have a little rooster tail right here. And since there are some pretty big bass and like bluegill in here, I'm gonna throw this out there. And it'll be pretty cool to catch a fish on one of these. Let's see what the rooster tail does. Oh, they're following it. There we go, little bass. Just like I was expecting. These fish right here will eat anything. I bet you if I threw like a little straw and a little jig head, I bet you they would eat it. They're so used to everything. Not really, they're just hungry. They're freaking starving. So they eat, oh no, they eat about anything that pops in the water. Like look right here, if I just jig it up and down, we'll get a fish. There we go, you see? So, oh. Look at this fish right here. I would definitely take one of these in an aquarium so quick. Wow, this fish is fighting hard, guys. Look at the size of this. Oh, there you go. I didn't have a spotted sunfish. Those things get huge. Well, not huge, but about that big. All right, guys, that's gonna call it an end. My GoPro's on 3%, so can't fish anymore, and I wanna make an outro, so I have an outro. Hope you guys did enjoy. This is the end of the video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. This right here is like, I think the a card stick what I was talking about, and this is like huge guys. And these guys get really pretty when they get bigger. There's like a bunch of blue and green on him. Beautiful little fish. I just want to show you how beautiful this bass is. This guy is like super fat, chunky little beautiful bass. I think that's four bass already so far. This one being the second biggest one. 